when you're engaging consciousness, everything is a thought. When you're working in the thought consciousness gate and you are de-identifying from all thought objects and you're ruthless about recognizing what is a thought, then it becomes clear that all thought objects are nothing but movements in consciousness. This means that anything the mind takes hold of, anything the mind fixates on, is a thought. If a thought arises saying, you're bored, that's a thought. If you feel like you're stuck, that's a thought. If you feel like you've been doing this for two years and nothing's happening, that's a thought. If you feel like you're going in circles and don't know what to do, that's a thought. If you notice sounds in the room or music in your mind, that's a thought. The sounds may be not inside the thought gate, but the noticing of them when our attention is in unbound consciousness is itself a thought. And the moment you recognize that, you de-identify. And then there's just that consciousness, just the light shining only on itself, not illuminating an object, but only illuminating illumination itself. So whatever stirs in here, whatever begins to form as an object of thought, an object of mind or attention, is simply another thought. And the sooner you catch it, the less formed that thought will become. So you don't have to be tense or aggressive with this de-identification from thought. Just be alert, curious, receptive to the movement of mind. Notice when it starts to rustle, starts to form a thought, or when a thought is formed. And immediately recognize thought as thought. Whether it's about you, the technique, awakening, realization, life situations, something that happened yesterday, something that happened last week, a visual image of someone's face, a visual image of your own body or the room you're in. All of those are thoughts. The whole world, as you know it, in this space is made out of thought. But just believing that isn't helpful because you will be engaging that thought object. You'll be engaging the paradigm. So as soon as the paradigm arises that says everything is thoughts or everything is consciousness, then you have to recognize that as a thought. And then just turn your attention to pure attention. Purity of knowing without an object. Pure awakeness, pure receptivity. Can you be receptive of only receptivity? Can you be awake to only awakeness itself? It's very easy. You do it by not making objects of thought and simultaneously noticing if any objects of thought arise and recognizing them as such. So whenever your attention starts to subjectify, starts to point to something, to an object inside consciousness, that's a thought forming. Conclusions, interpretations, contexts, all thoughts past, future, present thoughts. 
body, mind, body, mind, world, universe, thoughts. Thoughts, consciousness, thinking, doubting, doubt mass. These are all thoughts. When you really get the flavor of this, it's rather effortless to remain here, but it takes a bit of effort to de-identify enough until you're kind of in this balancing point of alertness without grasping onto thoughts, willing to recognize a thought arising or forming, but not anticipating anything. If you're anticipating something, that's also a thought. If you're preparing for something, that's a thought. If you're trying to get ready, that's a thought. When you get the feel for this, just stay with it. See where it leads you, experientially. No conclusions are needed, obviously. We're not trying to make a new paradigm. We're doing an experiment to see what happens when we de-identify from all of those thoughts that cloud our mind. To see what it is to be radically present, radically here, radically alert, with no object of attention. <laughs>